Well, hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. It's Laura from XO Laura. So glad you stopped by. I just wanted to share with you my St. Patrick's Day decor for 2024. It was so fun decorating um, for St. Patrick's Day, even though I was on the fence because it's so close to Easter, I was wondering whether or not I actually wanted to decorate or just go straight into Easter, which I'm sure has been everybody's dilemma. However, I have some cool St. Patrick's Day decor and I love the color green and it's so fun to be able to decorate for this particular holiday. I really enjoyed it. Like for instance, my coffee bar. I used that rainbow sign I got from Dollar Tree by my pot of gold to make it look like it's, you know, dropping off the gold, which is inside there is my K-Cups. That's where I store them. So that is like gold, especially in the morning. So, you know, I also have these fun little crazy straws and some St. Patrick's Day shamrock cups. I have my lucky mug and a little gnome mug. It's just so much fun. I love how cute everything is. And it's just, you know, again, that green color is just, I love it. It's just so vibrant, I guess you'd say. I love all my candles. I love all my little items that I have, especially on my tear tray. I even got the pipe. I found the pipe at Hobby Lobby this year. I was so excited to find that. So I just stuck some little gold coins in there to add to it. I mean, you could put anything in there, I guess, but the gold coins seem to be very fitting. And I got some new little bears from the thrift store for St. Patrick's Day and just paired it up with those topiary trees and some mushrooms from Dollar Tree. I also have the gnome there that I actually picked up from... Hmm, I think I got that... Jeez, I don't even remember where I got that one from. I think I got them from Aldi's, but I'm not 100% sure. I might even have gotten them from Home Goods. Um, but the little leprechauns are so cute, and it's time to bring out all those gnomes, especially for St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is the time to actually, you know, showcase all those gnomes that you have, as well as your leprechauns. Don't you agree? I also picked up um, from Facebook Marketplace, this really cool wreath. It's a fiber optic wreath for $5. I thought it was really cute. It's not something that you see all the time, but can you see it glowing a little bit? So that little leprechaun wreath I thought was really cute. And I have my little clings on my microwave and my lucky signs with the little shamrocks. Those are always fun. I have my little gnome leprechaun holding the pot of gold. I th think he's so cute. I just added some more gold coins with some multicolored fairy lights around there just to give it a little extra something something. So cute. Over in this corner, I also added some lights that I picked up after Christmas sale from Walmart. They're like a spray of multicolored lights. And I just thought I would stick them in my little tinsel shamrocks so that it's like a spray of rainbow colors coming out of there with the little rainbow sign that I have there. I just think it's so much fun. And that shelf there, I just added some green lights that I got, a string light, that run on batteries from Dollar Tree and I put it underneath there and it gives such a good cool green glow. I just love it. As well as that little boot that was new this year from Dollar Tree. I think that's really fun. I just added a couple more extra shamrock picks in there. That cute little ukulele playing leprechaun is also from Facebook Marketplace. I got him for $5. I think he's so cute.
On top of my refrigerator here, I just had a glass vase that I added the carnations, the green carnations, with that U Shamrock pennant sign that I got from Target Dollar Spot this year. So here's an overall view of my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my decor for this year. It'll be up for one more week and then the day after St. Patrick's Day, it'll be all coming down and I will be decorating for Easter. Um, for one more week, I'll get to enjoy this and I, I do like to have the time to enjoy all my decor and, and feel that festive feeling up until St. Patrick's Day. So on that day, I like to also do the traditional corned beef and cabbage meal with some sweet carrots to go with it, Irish soda bread, and then I like to do rainbow cupcakes. How about you? Do you like to do the traditional meal on St. Patrick's Day with all the fixins? I know I do, and my family loves it. Those cupcakes are a definite hit and I do rainbow frosting as well as a rainbow cupcake um, dough. So yeah, it's a lot of fun and they're delicious too. So if you like this video, if you're enjoying it, please give it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Comment what your favorite decor item is. I'd really like to know. Don't forget to even share the video too. I hope it gave you some inspiration as to decorating for your own home. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and I'd love to have you part of my YouTube family. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a happy St. Patrick's Day.